my name is Liani Steenkamp and I am from STPB Tiger Valley and today we're going to be talking about the cost involved in a transaction especially when you're either selling or buying it is so important to know what are you in for and what are you not in for and today we have Andre Kritzinger from Realty, Realty Property Group who will be joining with us and discussing that from the agent's point of view as well so um, Andre over to you thank you thank you for having me um, it's, it's such an important question that we need to talk about. Um, I, I can give you a little bit more perspective about the, the commission a seller would pay. Um, and it's always tricky, but I would estimate about the norm to be between 5 and 7% today in South Africa. Um, but then, that's on the sale price, right? But then it's also cost involved uh, compliance certificate for your property. So in the Western Cape, we get a water uh, certificate, we get uh, the gas, the electrical, and sometimes the beat of the bank asks for it. But it's very hard to say exactly what those costs are. Uh, it depends on renovations, how big the property is, but it's always good to talk about it beforehand, and there is some uh, call-out fees. You talked about the suppliers. So I would say from a seller point of view, you pay the co agent's commission and that certificates. But then I also try to explain to the buyers, you know, the transfer costs, but perhaps you can give us a little bit more information on that. Uh, especially with the, you know, transfer costs, um, I, I know that the agent would tell you as the buyer, you know, you have X, Y, and Z that you are in for when buying a property. Yes. But you need to understand if you are a buyer that you will have transfer costs and there's going to be a portion of it that would go to your attorney um, for actually attending to the transfer of the property from Mr. Seller to Mr. Buyer. But then it would also be a portion towards transfer duty. Uh, that's which for is, SARS, right? Exactly. Yeah. So that's the amount that goes towards SARS for acquiring that property um, throughout the transaction. And that's a once-off fee that gets included in your, your pro forma statement from an attorney. Okay. But the other thing that's also involved is obviously if they have a bond or not. So if your buyer has a bond, then you would also be in for that bond cost, which again would include then your... Uh, bond transfer. But that's fee. a second attorney, right? That's so, exactly that. So, so it's two attorneys on the deal. Exactly. And sometimes people do get confused yes. about that. And I mean, that's important from the agent's point of view. That to communicate that. To communicate that when there is a bond involved, there's going to be a second set of an attorney. Mm. And I think the confusing part comes in when both attorneys are charging the same amount. <laughs> Um, and, you know, it can uh, be a bit difficult to distinguish, but the thing is that attorneys charge according to uh, scale and to the tariff. Um, okay, yes. And, and the thing is, if your bond value is the same as your property purchase price, as in you're getting a full bond, then those transfer fees are going to be exactly the same because they look like they, they tariff. So, so what if you need to cancel a bond from the, from the seller's point of view? Isn't there a third attorney involved? Exactly. You've got a third attorney involved, and that is for your seller. Okay. So your seller needs to cancel his existing bond. Um, yes, he's going to have to pay the money towards you know the outstanding amount that's in that bond, but also uh, to cancel the bond, it requires an attorney to yes. cancel that the deeds office. Absolutely. And don't forget to give a 90-day notice because the banks charge our penalties. And you've got that penalty. But I think that's more a real estate agent's uh, role. Uh, when you start marketing a property, it could take anything from a week until three months. So ideally, you want to give notice as soon as possible. Don't incur those uh, penalties. And you know, us as conveyances, we, we really rely on, on agents giving mm. that advice to the seller and to the buyer when they negotiate the deal to understand what Mr. Seller is going to get out of this transaction yes. once he's deducted all of the costs and what Mr. Buyer is in for when you include all of the costs. Exactly like that VAT. Commission, not always, but if you're registered for VAT, it's got to be commission plus VAT. Exactly. Uh, we often get our sellers asking us that question when we do the final account about why is the agent's commission higher than what I've agreed to? Yes. And it's because they've forgotten to include that VAT portion, portion. into the commission. I think communication is so important. It starts from day one. You need to, the whole process, the, all the cost involved and in managing that risk. Exactly. And the thing is, I think what, what, with today's day and age is that there are so many cost calculators available to yes. your seller, to your buyer, and the agents and, and conveyances. And, Don't you and have an app? Exactly. We've yes. got that STVV yes. app. Yes. So you can go and download that. It would give you exact cost calculator for your seller and your buyer so that both know what they're in for. Um, actually, another cost that I'm thinking of that comes to mind um, that 
sometimes get overlooked by your seller and that is capital gains tax oh yes okay tell me a little a, bit yeah, you, more about that yeah. exactly it's a bit complicated to discuss and we're not i'm not going to discuss the whole thing okay. but point being is that if you're a seller and you're selling a second property that's when it comes in normally yeah normally um you need to also consider your tax implications. Yes, your buyer is going to have his, his transfer duty, but your seller might also have his capital gains tax. And that frequently gets overlooked, especially if you, you're selling for a higher value than what you've bought for Absolutely. and it's a second property. Absolutely. I try to stay away from that. I say, guys, keep, get your bookkeeper auditor in to make that, that calculation. But I always try to say that it could be possible. I think from my role, it's important to just advise a client, you could be liable for a capital gains tax. But I think it's better if, you, if your conveyancer and your bookkeeper auditor just looks at, into that. And um, just to you know, summarize that as well, again, you've got cost calculators and STBB's exactly. app makes provision for bond repayments, capital gains tax calculations, as well as your bond and transfer cost and it's a very good informative app to make use of to make sure what you're in for and what you're not in for as That's a seller and a buyer. Fantastic news. So uh, just to summarize today have a look at our STBB app that it's STBB direct and there you can find all the costs that you are in for for a buyer and a seller. It's also important to speak to your realtor about the costs involved as a seller and a buyer. But for more information, you can go to our website at stbb.co.za.